Good afternoon and happy Sunday to all of you. Yesterday at 3.15 p.m., the AFP and the PNP arrested high-ranking NPA leaders Wilma and Benito Champson at Barangay Saragosa, Aluginsan, Cebu. Wilma Champson is the Secretary General of the CPP-NPA, while her husband Benito is the Chairman of the CPP-NPA. They were arrested by virtue of a warrant of arrest for their crimes against humanity that include murder, multiple murders, and frustrated murder. They are currently at the CIDG undergoing processing and documentation for legal disposition. They will be committed to the PNP Custodial Center. The arrest of Benito and Wilma Champson is another victory for the combined efforts between the AFP and PNP and our other stakeholders and the rest of the Filipino people in pursuit of peace and security. We should continue to strengthen our resolve to bring other criminals to justice in honor of the victims of the violence perpetuated by the CPP and PA and in honor of our people who deserve to live in a peaceful and developed society. In many areas of the country, the insurgents have lost their ideological mooring and have degenerated into bandit groups, primarily focused on extortion activities only. Popular support to the insurgents has waned and people have been getting tired of armed violence. We call on the rest of the members of the CPP and PA to lay down their arms, abandon the armed struggle, return to the comfort of their families, and join us in bringing peace and development to our nation. Good afternoon. Thank, Thank you, sir. We have a few questions um, from uh, the PDA inquiry. Please take a design. Sir, good afternoon. Sir, how would, this impact, how would the areas of the Jamsons impact on our ISP? The Internal Peace and Security Plan Bayanian is a continuing activity. It will continue to be implemented, executed nationwide, and this contributes uh, largely to our cause of uh, finally winning peace in our country. Remember that uh, Champson is the head of the um, military, New People's Army, and the Communist Party of the Philippines, who directs the armed struggle all over the country, who directs all the, the land mining, the killings, the violence perpetuated by the New People's Army. Thank you. Uh, next question, Ms. Carmela from Buena. Sir, the couple have been elusive for decades. Um, they are arrested under your watch. How do you feel? And sir, the couple na ba na arrested? Because the president ended up a big fish na They were arrested yesterday afternoon at 3:15 p.m. So it's not true that they were not that they were arrested prior to that or How earlier than that. They're arrested under your watch. They've been very elusive. How did they It's a continuing effort uh, by the armed forces of the Philippines and the national police and also other agencies who have contributed to this. There is no singular person that is uh, directly responsible for that. It's not necessarily that uh, it happened during my watch at times. It's a continuing activity and it's a collective effort of all members of the armed forces, past and present. But how do you feel it's still Indeed, it's a, a great step forward for the uh, Bayanihan for, uh, for us to finally put an end to armed struggle. It is a very big uh, contribution to that effort. Thank you. Next question, Hachi. Thank you, sir. Sir, also sabi ng NDF uh, uh, that the couple should be immediately released because they they have this uh, kind of immunity. Uh, how true is this, sir? Bakit nila sinasabi yun? At uh, ano ang katotokanan ng sir? And the follow-up question, sir, uh, ano naman ngayon ang uh, what would uh, the PNP will do after this uh, couple nga na, na nahuli na nila? One, they have not presented any documents to that effect if you're talking about the uh, JASIG. Yes, sir. And the JASIG, uh, but issues on uh, JASIG and other legal matters will be addressed by the SOJ. But let me just say this. Let us go beyond 
documents. Let's go to the spirit of JASIC. Ano ba talaga yung JASIC? This is for the pursuit of the peace process. In fact, they abandoned the, the negotiating table and continue to sow violence, direct violence, land mining, arson, killings. You cannot use JASIC to cover up for all of these criminal activities that you are going. You cannot use this as cover. Um, next question, uh, David Santos. <coughs> Sir, um, firstly, the in direct impact of the RS to the operations of the uh, organization, uh, the nationwide operation. As we have known, they have set up uh, their attacks on government uh, forces, especially down south. So how do we see that, that uh, impacting on their operations? Second, uh, there have been persistent reports that the Tiamsons have uh, Somebody else have taken control of the organization even before their arrest. So uh, have we verified this? Are there new who, who could possibly replace them now? Uh, as to the re replacement, maybe you should ask them, not us. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're in a be better monitoring. position to answer that. Uh -huh. uh, about the chumps and couples, about the violence, it is unfortunate that the response to our peace initiatives it's more violence, more killings, more land mining, even against innocent civilians. And they are being directed by this uh, couple, the leadership of the CPP and PA. And uh, hopefully, all of them now realize that the futility of armed struggle, of violence, more than four decades already, but what has it resulted to? A lot of suffering on our people, innocent civilians, the youth, the future of our youth destroyed, many of them. And we hope they now realize the futility of the armed struggle and that there are other options to pursue our agenda. There are peaceful options. And that is not the way to pursue any ideological or political agenda. And there is a more peaceful way, a more civilized way. Armed struggle is a Jurassic methodology. It's uh, barbaric. It's, it has no place in this modern world. Um, <coughs> next question, Vic. Please. Sir, can you tell us about the circumstances leading to the arrest of the Congo? I believe, sir, that there are five opinions. What happened there? The uh, five, five with them are also being processed right now as we speak the CIDG found in their possession were firearms and also explosives and grenades. And uh, at the least, they are harboring fugitives uh, from justice and uh, the CIDG will process uh, all of them for uh, all of these uh, crimes committed. They are definitely with the uh, couple, the staff of the uh, couple and there are, they are probably, most probably CPP and PA also. So you circumstances that Led to the arrest. Uh, I cannot reveal to you circumstances uh, without. Uh, please, uh, please, I uh, uh, beg your. Without. There are at least three warrants of arrest. Uh, criminal case number H1581, multiple murder at RTC Branch 18, Hilongos Leyte now transferred to RTC branch 32 of Manila. Criminal case number 4702 for frustrated murder and criminal case number 4703 for murder at RTC branch 31, Northern Samar. Uh, we have the last two questions, um, Alexis. General, uh, we've seen high-profile arrests before and they ended up being released because of some technicalities or some something related to the peace negotiations. What is the assurance that the Chamsons will not be released because of some technicalities or some other peace talks related matters? I cannot address the legal issues right now. Uh, the SOJ is in the best position to address all those uh, legal issues, but uh, rest assured we will uh, prosecute them for the crimes they have committed against the Filipino people. But are we saying in general that if the other side manages to prove that they are covered by JASI, we will be more than ready to release this? Uh, I guess the SOJ will be more in a position to address that issue. 
sir, um, uh, the arrest of the Piamsons may or may not weaken the position of the organization. Just in case, uh, what will be our next step just in case that they will attack? We continue to to implement our internal peace and security plan by any hand. It is unfortunate, as I said, that our overtures for peace had been uh, answered with violence, killings, arson, land mining, including those of innocent civilians and uh, non-combatants. And I guess it's a matter of a decision now from all of us as a people to really see to it that end, that we end armed struggle and that we now work for a peaceful and secured <coughs> Philippines developed for the benefit of all of us. That is very unfortunate if uh, they will now again pursue violence just because of peace. As I said, we hope that uh, they now realize with this arrest the futility of the armed struggle, that we have suffered too much already for uh, the four decades of armed struggle, and we hope uh, that finally they realize the pieces. Sir, are we saying that the uh, arrest of Yang Suan, uh, the message of it, uh, parang it's already a threat, matakot na kayo, because we can do this? You cannot run away from uh, the law. We will uh, get all those uh, violators of the law, especially those who have uh, crimes against our people, crimes against humanity. We, we will ne never let them uh, go away with it. And uh, the best course of action for them now is really to abandon armed struggle, to lay down their arms. And they do so. We will welcome them as a people. We will welcome them as fil fellow Filipinos, and I'm sure the whole Filipino community will be Sir, very supportive of that. Sir, are our government security forces now on red alert, sir, anticipating a retaliation by the communist insurgents or nationwide? We are always on red alert, always prepared to address any security issues, yes. uh, regardless of whether why can't you give the details, sir, of the, the circumstances that led to the arrest and the action mm. arrest? My compromise our uh, operational te techniques, our uh, assets. So, uh, please. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. so I will be with the PNP. With the or PNP. Is, is, is the PNP. With the PNP. Sharing the cost of it. <coughs> the security response. PNP I mean. access. PNP ang uh, mag-address ng custody, I mean, yes. Last question, sir. Last question, Alexis. General Presco, what is the impact of the arrest on the communist movement in the Philippines? Definitely, when you arrest the le leader of any organization, when you, it has, uh, it has an impact on the organization. Because uh, the, the vacuum uh, in leadership, will uh, be felt by the organization and uh, hopefully the rest of the organization as I said will realize the futility of the armed struggle. But, uh, How significant is the impact of the arrest on the rebel movement? As I said, when you get the leader of an organization, it has a very telling effect on the rest of the organization because it provides the leadership, the cohesiveness, and the violence. That the how, how do you think That's uh, for all of us to see. Hindi ako manguhula. Pero general, no, kayo mo masigison, is still around. Do you think meron pa siyang hold or grip in some movement? Because Joma is still in the Netherlands, even if he arrested the Jamaican. What do you think of that? Well, he claims to be the consultant of the uh, CPP, NPA, NDF. Yes. And uh, we hope also that he realizes that there is no, there's no future for uh, violence, for uh, armed struggle. We hope that they realize that. Their uh, primary leader, their advocate for armed struggle, uh, Benito Chamson, has been arrested already. And I hope the, the, rest, the rest of the leadership of the CPP and PA 
will now come to grips with reality. They should see the, the writing on the wall, the desire of the Filipino people, the collective will of the Filipino people. I guess all of us now realize that, that uh, we have been longing for peace. It's been more than four decades, as I said. And we should all work for that collectively as a people. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. That ends our uh, interview. Thank you, uh, General Bautista, sir.